Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here to talk to you guys over a little bit of a how-to Twitch video, guys. Today's episode is going to be showing you guys how to put your team speak into your streams, guys. And that might sound a little bit confusing, but pretty much what we're going to be doing is having your team speak name as well as a, as a voice activated sort of icon appear when you're talking, as well as everyone else who's in the same TeamSpeak channel as you. For those of you who don't know what TeamSpeak is, TeamSpeak is this client that I have right here. This is the TeamSpeak 3 client. And pretty much what it allows you to do is connect to servers and be able to um, be able to talk to other people real time. So this is my uh, my TeamSpeak. I own this TeamSpeak uh, channel, which is the MC Warside TeamSpeak. If you guys want to join, the uh, TeamSpeak IP is always in the chat. And basically what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys how to have uh, for instance, I'm in this room right here, how to have my name, or say I were to join something like the staff lounge room, how to have all of their names as well in uh, are on screen. So basically, the first thing that you guys are going to need to do is you guys are going to need to download the Teams, uh, the, the TeamSpeak 3 plugin, guys. I'm going to leave the link for this in the description. It's a very simple plugin. All it is is uh, there's a 32-bit and a 64-bit version. So make sure you guys go download that. So you can click that, open it up. It's going to be a Dropbox download, so it's going to download. Boom. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm getting poked on uh, TeamSpeak. That's quite funny. But uh, anyway, so we're going to have the TeamSpeak 3 plugin right here, as you guys see. So you got the plugin, and you have the README text. All you guys have to do with this plugin is you guys are going to open up your doc, or you're going to open up your documents here. You're going to go to like, your local disk, going to go to Program Files, or if you have the 32-bit version, you guys are going to go to Program Files x86. I'm using my 64-bit version, so I'm going to go over here. Uh, then I'm going to open up my OBS file. Then I'm going to go into Plugins. And here's where you're going to put your TS3 plugin, guys. So as you guys can see, same plugin just gets dropped right into there. And after you guys drop into there, you're going to have to close and reopen your... your Eh, you're gonna have to close and reopen your OBS and uh, when you guys do that you're gonna be able to go into your plugins folder right here so basically you're gonna open up your plugins uh, and in your plugins here you're gonna see TeamSpeak 3 plugin you'll be able to configure it and uh, as you guys see here is my unique identity which or a unique ID which I'm going to black out because I actually don't know if you guys can use this for anything wrong or bad then we're going to have the IPv4 which you're gonna leave it as 127.0.0.1 if you guys are using it on this computer but if you guys are using TeamSpeak which you are connected to on a separate computer you guys are going to have to use uh, a separate thing which will be which will be on the forum page for you guys if you guys would like to know what that is or how to do that but you guys also have the use prefix and use suffix uh, the reason I'm not going to explain this IPv4 thing is just because it's usually not a thing anybody needs to worry about uh, anyway so you have a use prefix and use suffix what this will do is when you are streaming using OBS when this is active uh, it'll append a certain and prefix or suffix to your name the suffix or, or prefix can be up to 10 characters in length and by default is set as something along I think it's these lines I think it's uh, like R or I guess you could do S or you could do streaming or you could do busy or whatever you guys want you guys can also set up a couple other things so you guys can set it up to mute yourself to deafen yourself so mute yourself would be turn on your mute it can also uh, turn off your speakers it can change your channel so if you select that you can then set the channel that you want it to change to uh, and then you can put in the channel password assuming that that is a password protected channel I don't want to enable any of these things considering I don't want on my team speak which I am owner of there to be like indication that I'm streaming or whatnot or people would probably be more likely to message me but uh, anyway so that is that right there so that's basically how you're gonna be able to configure this plugin and the way that it's going to work after that so we are gonna you know configure it the way that we want hit OK if you guys want to find your unique uh, user ID you're simply gonna go here and go to identities and it'll pop up there or you guys can do the uh, I guess control I a uh, little thing there so anyway the way that you guys are going to actually configure this is you guys are simply going to go right click add TeamSpeak 3 overlay so this is a little bit more difficult than you might think because I, I I skipped over a couple options when I first set mine up and that kind of messed it up so anyway what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna want to pick a font pretty default so I'm gonna pick the default font that I use for most things on my twitch stream which is uh, huggable which I like that one you're gonna be able to pick a color so I'm gonna pick you know a gray one just because it's not meant to really stand out too much you get to pick an opacity you get to pick a background color so in case you guys want a background color you guys can do that you then have uh, an outline that 
that you guys can use so you can use that you can you know, pick a one point outline I'm gonna use black just as default so it stands out a little bit uh, you have only show speakers speaker to the right of the name I like speaker or I like speaking symbol to the right of the name so I personally will have that set up uh, and then you guys will have this one names to show if you guys want more than just your own name make sure you guys have multiple of these this is they're only going to show when they are there so don't worry about having too much um and then only show uh speakers so it'll only show the 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 person who is speaking so if you guys check that you guys can go back down to one and it'll show exactly who's speaking at whatever times so i don't want that but uh, anyway, you got hide your own name, so it won't show your own name in there. I personally do want it to show my own name in there, just so you guys can kind of see how it works. And then you have all of these different options here. So I'm going to click OK. And as you guys can see, you guys will see in your top left-hand corner right now, you guys will have this uh, be available. So I'm going to do that. And can we select it and move it? So as you guys can see, it's a little bit big on screen. Sorry about that. Just makes it easier for me to kind of maneuver. But uh, basically, my my speakers are muted right now, or my mic is muted right now in TeamSpeak. But if I, let's see if I can, can I make this a little bit smaller here? But uh, anyway, so now that we have that, basically, if I were to unmute my microphone, uh, you guys would see, uh, there we go. So as you guys can see, when I do talk, it goes solid or it makes it a little dot there as you guys can see the dot right there and when I stop talking it goes to the the uh, empty circle as, and I'll stop talking right now there we go so anyway you, you guys can see how that works and then when I mute it'll uh, it'll of course do that I'm gonna drop into this other room so that you guys can see exactly how that works so I'm gonna drop in and boom you guys will see all of these people and if they were to be talking you would see those circles go from solid to empty so that's kind of a thing that will happen which is kind of interesting and I like that but uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's how you guys are gonna get your team speak um, that's how you're gonna get your team speak to be able to show in there and the way that I use that is through something like this so boom there we go, and as you guys can see, right next to my IP up there, I actually have that. So if I were to drop back in here, boom, we have all those people in there. And if I drop back out, you guys will see that it'll disappear and go back to just me. So anyway, guys, hopefully, this is me. So anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure to slam that like button down below. Subscribe to join the nation if you already haven't. And check out any of the other videos in the How To Twitch playlist. If you guys want to learn anything from how to set up, you know, Twitch alerts to how to set up OBS, how to make overlays, how to do any of that stuff, it'll be linked in the description in that playlist. So anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm the doctor, and I'm out. Bye.